Aria, welcome back to my channel for yet another bonus video. I hope you've been enjoying the significant increase in bonus videos ever since self-isolation has started because nothing better to do than crank out some content, am I right? Today's video is kind of all about Max, who's actually sniffing through the door right now. I don't want to let him in quite yet, but I think he knows what we're talking about today, and it's his favorite subject. That's dog food. start by saying that we got Max and he had a bit of a, a problem. <laughs> he would not eat his dog food and instead he would just cry and cry and bark and cry and beg for our food. He finally got to the point where he realized that he wasn't going to get our food, that we weren't going to feed him our human food. And so he stopped begging for it, but he would not eat his food. What he would do is we would give a scoop in the morning and throughout the day he would just kind of stare at it and then overnight when we had gone to bed and he had realized like, oh, they're really not feeding me, he would eat like half of it, but he was definitely not eating enough and we kind of didn't know what to do. So we have been on the hunt for good dog food. And today's video is going to be an honest review of my thoughts and experiences of a dog food that we found that we finally like, which is Ollie. Ollie is sponsoring this video, but per usual with all of my sponsored videos, I always tell the company up front that this is going to be an honest review series and I'm going to tell all of my thoughts and opinions about the brand. And I thought it would also be fun in this video if we do a little test with Max and we put out a bowl of his normal, which is actually very expensive kibble. We got like the very nice gray grain-free dog food versus Ollie, which is like real fresh meats and vegetables and see how he reacts to both and see which one he goes to. We haven't given him breakfast yet just for this video, so I'm super excited. But before we do the test with Max, I want to explain a little bit about the brand. Ollie comes in these little packages, but also in your first welcome box, they send you almost like this little lunch box. There's a little bit of food left in this, but I'll show you. Inside, we have a little shovel to scoop out his portion of food and we store this in the fridge and these can be frozen for quite a while. I believe it's six months or you can defrost 24 hours before feeding them and keep this for four days. So what we do is we have a stash in the freezer and we have one of these sitting in the fridge ready and his current one and this. And whenever this runs out, we put this in here and then we put the new one in the freezer to the fridge. So I don't know if you're very familiar with fresh dog food as opposed to like bagged dog food, but this is made with actually human grade ingredients. So I could eat this and be fine. I can pull up the recipe for this too and read you exactly what's in this. They ask a ton of questions about Max. So they ask his breed, his weight, his activity, if he has any allergies, everything like that. And then we could pick if we wanted chicken, beef, a mix of things, turkey, lamb. Wow, I forgot that there was turkey and lamb. We ended up going with chicken. I let Brooke pick, he picked chicken. I think next time I wanna try a mix of things just to see which one Max seems the most excited about. I'll read all the ingredients in this. So there's obviously different parts of chicken, carrots, peas, chicken liver, that's what I mean by different parts, rice, chia seeds, spinach, potatoes, eggs, blueberries, fish oil, cod liver oil, zinc, copper, then there's a ton of different vitamins like vitamin E, vitamin B6, vitamin B2, all the different vitamins that a healthy dog needs. So that's what's in the chicken one that we got him. And thankfully, right now, Obviously we're supposed to be staying at home due to COVID and not really going out of the house unless it's absolutely necessary and essential. Obviously dog food is pretty important. If you have a dog, you need to feed them, but Ollie delivers to your door for free with two day delivery, which is super helpful because that's one less errand that we have to do to get out of the house, especially me. I don't know if you know this about me, but I am immunocompromised. I have uh, an autoimmune disease and asthma. So I'm really trying to limit my out of the house exposure. So I'm very thankful that they just delivered it to us. And the reason too, not only did we want to make sure Max would eat his food, but I did some research and I realized that uh, with fresh dog food, with these real actual ingredients instead of dried dog food, specifically with Ollie, there are reports of healthier weight, a shinier coat, better dental health, better bowel movements. I have noticed that with Max. He, um, he's been pooping, man. <laughs> TMI, but it's true. I was like, good, that means you're eating. I'm so glad. And forgot to mention sooner, this is super kind of Ollie, is they have given me a link down below. I'll put it in the description box where you actually get 50% off your first box, which is really good. So I actually have a little bit of iPhone footage of us unboxing it for the first time a few weeks ago, and I can go ahead and insert that in here. And then let's do the taste test with Max because that's super fun. And then I'll be back to tell you a little bit more about pricing and my overall thoughts. Oh my gosh, he's so excited. 
It's like he knows. My food? Is this your food, Max? You gonna try it? Welcome to the pack. Ooh. You just made the best decision ever for your pup's health. Yay. You're gonna be healthy. <laughs> what are you doing, Max? Ready, set, drool to the Whoa. Whoa. Max. Whoa. Oh my word. <laughs> okay, Rick is holding Max back. So we have his Ollie food, just a quarter of a portion right there, or a quarter of a package. And then we have dry dog food that he used to eat before Ollie. And I'm going to put this, this is in this one, over here. I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna move the frame down, okay? Hold please, hold please, whoa. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> He's like hardly even glanced at that one. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't want that. I want this. <laughs> huh. Well, I think that speaks for itself, huh? Good job, Max. Update. Not finishing his food. Not a problem anymore, is it? He's still asking for more. Oh, you wait, you want more? Huh? So, pricing for this it varies between like two to six dollars a day, usually depending on the size of your dog. But there's also different options to where you can feed them exclusively 100% Ollie, or you can kind of mix it in with their other food. We were transitioning Max from his old food to Ollie by introducing like a little bit of Ollie in his food and then a little bit more and then a little bit more. And what we've actually been doing to make this even more cost effective for us is giving him half a serving. So this is about a day's worth of food for Max for his size. So technically half of this would be in the morning and half of this would be in the evening. What we've been doing is a quarter of this in the morning with a half a scoop of his dog food and we mix it all together to kind of trick him into eating it all and then another quarter of that. That is one option if you don't want to feed your pet 100% fresh food, you could kind of mix it into the food they're already eating, and that then would fluctuate the cost of the overall thing. And that's what we've been doing, and I love it, and we're gonna continue to do this. Max, I think, can smell it, because he's literally barking at the door right now. Overall, my thoughts are I love the fact that this can be frozen in your freezer for so long. I like that they're individually kind of packaged like this, because if we do, say, go on a weekend trip to an Airbnb, we don't have to figure out how to bring all of this wet food. We could just bring one of these and pop it in this and put it in our cooler and be good to go. I think pricing is right in par. Um, LA has a very big love for fresh dog food and I was actually a personal assistant in a different lifetime and would go pick up this like custom made fresh dog food which is essentially the same thing as this for my boss's dogs and she would spend hundreds of dollars. Like she would spend so much money, it was insane. And this is essentially the exact same thing except for it's delivered to you and it's significantly cheaper. So knowing that that exists, I am very thankful for the ease and the convenience and the price point of this. Really, the, the main testimony is just in Max. It makes you happy to see your fur babies happy and excited about their food, and initially it was kind of sad to see that Max didn't want to eat, so I've been very pleased with that. So all in all, those are my thoughts about Ollie. My honest thoughts, I really don't have anything negative to say about them. I can't think of any room for improvement. They've delivered really quickly, even though delivery has been kind of up in the air for a lot of companies during this time. They've been very mindful of of Max and Max's breed and size and activity levels and habits. So I, I can't think of anything negative to say about them. And knowing that the normal price point of other fresh foods can be so expensive, especially in LA, I'm pretty pleased with the price point as well. Those are my thoughts. I love y'all so much. I hope you enjoyed this dog focus video. Maybe your furry friends can benefit from it too. Any excuse to have Max in a video is a good video to me. <laughs> Don't forget that that promo link is down below for half off your first box, which is so generous. Thank you, Ollie. And also thank you, Ollie, for sponsoring today's video. I'll see y'all very soon in a normally scheduled video. Maybe another bonus video because who knows at this point. <laughs> I hope you have the best rest of your day and I'll see you very soon. Bye!